Hi everyone, Patrick here, and I'm back today to talk a little bit more about Kia. Lately I've seen a couple of people interested in the types of sounds that Kia make and what they could mean. So today I thought it would be a great idea to go through some of their most common calls and talk a little bit about them. I do want to make it clear up front that while we have the information on when the birds make these calls and what they're doing at the time, we can't claim to know what's going on inside their mind. So any translations of the meaning of the calls is just my own interpretation. So with that, I'd like to talk about the first call, which is the screech. This is the call that Kia get their names from. It sounds like shouting Kia. So you hear Kia making this call across the valley to each other and as they take off and fly around. And so it works primarily as a contact call to let everyone know where you are and announce your presence to everyone in the valley. The next call is the trill call. So this one is the alarm call, it has lots of rapid oscillations in the frequency and it's used to warn others that there's a danger around or when they've just been disturbed. Um, you'll also hear this call sometimes during agonistic behaviour, so when they get into a bit of a fight with each other. There is another call that sits between these two, fittingly called the screech trill. Um, that sounds like this. So in recordings, this call was most commonly heard during foraging when there's a couple of birds together. And so it could serve a purpose between the screech and the trill fitting enough, pretty much, hey, I'm here, but warning you, this is my patch, stay off. The next call is one that the Kia are really famous for, and that is the warble. So this one is the play call. We most often see this call being made while Kia are engaging in play behaviour. Um, and after hearing it, other Kia will also join in play and start making this call too. So in a lot of ways, we think it's very similar to laughter in humans. This was also the call we were looking for the other week when we put our water slide into the aviary. If you haven't seen it already, there's a link to that video below. Going a little further, we have the chatter call, which has um, lots of short sounds with gaps in between. It seems to be most often recorded while um, birds are foraging together and sometimes as they fly together, um, but it's never associated with any agonistic or alarm behaviours, so I think this one might basically mean I'm comfortable with having you around here, it's okay. We also have a much quieter vocalisation known as the mew. This call is one that's actually most often made while Kia are alone, away from other birds and it's also quite a quiet call. So we think it might not even be directed at anyone else, but rather a personal vocal repetition. So pretty much muttering to yourself under your breath. The last call I want to talk about is the whistle. It's probably one of my favorite calls, but it's also one of the rarest to hear. So I think I went two or three months working with these birds every day before I actually heard this call for the first time and it sounds a little bit like someone flexing a thin sheet of metal. So when they do make this call, it's usually during preening or when feeding someone else. And so it could be a very gentle and comfortable call. Um, I think if you do hear this one, you can consider yourself quite lucky. There is of course also much more to Kia communication than just the vocalizations they make. Body posture also plays a very big role especially in asserting dominance over one another. Kia are also quite a bit less vocal than most other parrot species, and they don't engage in mimicry, so you won't get them to say hello. They prefer to stick to their own vocalizations. And the last little note is that the calls made by juveniles are distinct from the ones made by the adults in that they're quite a bit harsher sounding. Um, so that's a little tip to help you figure out if there's a juvenile around, even if you can't see them directly. Um, so I hope you learned something new today about Kia and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like, subscribe, all the YouTube things, and leave a comment below about what else you would like me to talk about. Um, and I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for another video. Bye.